Here's what we're making in this video. It's a mouse trap car. The mouse trap here is attached to the back wheels with a string. And as as the string gets pulled as on this little post, the string unwinds from this axle. Let's get started making this thing. Hey, if we're making these mouse trap cars, the first thing I want to point out is that we're, we've removed the uh, the arm that will catch the mouse trap and and hold it open in in a trap position. Uh, without that arm, you're not able to you know load it. Even though this catch is still here, it's not able to be load it up so that somebody doesn't walk by your mouse trap, set it for you, and then it surprises you and you know bumps your finger when you go to work on it again. So get rid of this arm if you're working on with a mouse trap that doesn't have it removed already. Uh, in my classroom they're already removed. The first thing we need to do is talk about how to get the back wheels set up. Here's the simplest way I've ever seen to do it where you just end up with two popsicle sticks glued on the bottom and our wheels are going to run on uh, with a skewer so this skewer needs to be able to spin the skewer needs to be able to rotate around while the string pulls on it well straws are a great way to create something like a little bushing so here I've got two little straws two little bits of straw and I'm gonna just glue them onto the end of those two popsicle sticks you definitely don't want to have them crooked like this so it might be a good idea to have the skewer in place while you glue it that way you know it's gonna be straight and it's not you're not gonna be driving sideways now once those are glued on I want you to notice that this is the front of the car and here's the back and here's why this is going to power that back axle so now that this is loaded we could take our string we could wrap it around this axle and while this trap releases it, it will pull the string off of the axle making it spin 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 so then to, to wind it back up I would just have to start winding and start loading energy into that spring wind 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 and then while the spring is releasing it's making the, the axle spin 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 so this is the back this is the front of the car all right, well now that I've got my axles in place, what I need to do is plan for a front wheel and get some wheels attached. Now for my wheels, I'm going to use three CDs. You don't have to use CDs. You could even use cardboard. You could use anything that's nice and round. So I'm gonna use CDs because they're fast and I need to find a way to attach this CD to this skewer. So the fastest way would be to just put a piece of cardboard over it. The best way would be to 3D print a nice little puck that has a hole that's this size and a, a ridge that fits here so that you put the puck in there and then the hole extends through. But because I need, I want to get this done quickly, I'm going to use cardboard. Now that I have that glued on real nice, I'm going to look on this side and, and get a hole that's right in the middle of that piece of cardboard I just glued on there for all three of these. Now one thing you need to realize about the back wheels, the back wheels need to be attached to the skewer. The skewer has the string pulling on it, so the string is pulling, pulling, pulling while this trap is being released. 
So the, the string is getting pulled by the trap and the skewer is being turned so that this wheel needs to turn as well. So I will need to glue this wheel to this skewer right here. I'll put some glue in and then kind of work the skewer so that the glue goes into the cardboard. There we go. So now I got glue all the way through the cardboard. I want to hold it, make sure it tries to stay nice and straight. Okay, I've got my wheels attached and I'm looking at the bottom of the car. So I've got the front wheel surrounded by these two popsicle sticks or um, two straws and that's spinning okay. I had a hard time getting not getting hot glue up in the um, straw there because if, if the straw and, and the skewer get glued together it's, it, it is not going to turn. And I'm seeing back here that this little tiny straw is probably not going to be strong enough to hang on while that powerful trap is pulling on it. So one little thing I'm going to do to strengthen that up is cover the cover these with some extra hot glue and put a popsicle stick over the top so that there's hot glue all the way around and two popsicle sticks squeezing it together. Great, so now I've got my front wheel secure. I've got popsicle sticks holding on to that piece of straw. And I got my back wheels surrounded so those straw bits don't break away. Now the last step is to connect the string to the axle. Here's something that you might not think about. This pops, this trap doesn't just have to be this much action where it's the string is tied here when it's open and then it gets pulled to here when it's closed we can make that a hair longer so I'm going to make it, we can make it much longer so what I'm gonna do is add a popsicle stick here so that when it's open the string is way back here it'll get pulled 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 really far and then when it's done, it's way up here. So it'll pull this much string across the axle instead of this much tiny bit of string. So adding this popsicle stick will make the string three or four times longer. This time, I was able to hot glue the popsicle stick with the trap closed and then I put another one on top same as right here where it's trapped inside and it's it's stronger because it's surrounded by you know a stiff material hot glue by itself is not that strong but when you combine it with something long and rigid it can be really a, a, a tough material I tied a knot here at the top with my string attached ran it to the axle. I wrapped it around the axle a few times, tied it in a knot, and hot glued that knot in place. So once this cools, I'll be able to wrap it, wind back this long lever. While you're winding it, you want to kind of watch where your string is going. You don't want it to get up over the straw. That's why it's best if your straw is really good and out of the way. So we're winding it back. Now I just don't notice a mistake I made. This extra stick that was made to make it stronger, well there's extra hot glue there and that's binding, that's making it so I can't open that all the way. I'm going to release it a little ways, let it run forward, and then use the hot glue gun to just melt this and, and try to get it out of the way. All right, so there I've got the string. It's wrapped all the way around the axle. These wheels seem to be holding. This long stick is going. And so let's give it a try. 
And there it is. Winding it back manually. And I should be able to take it down the hallway.